Hello, welcome to Einstein Mechanics. In this episode, we are going to solve one particular problem. So, here a shaft is transmitting 97.5 kilowatts at 180 RPM. The allowable shear stress in the material is 60 megapascal. Find the suitable diameter for the shaft. And also, the shaft is not allowed to twist more than one degree in a length of three meters. You should take G as 80 gigapascal. So what can we do here? We can write down our parameters from the question. From the question we are having, is transmitting 97.5 kilowatt. That is power, right? So we have our P to be 97.5 kilowatts at 180 RPM. That is our N, number of rotation per minute. That is going to be 180 RPM. The allowable shear stress of the material is 60 mega Pascal. So that's our shear stress. Shear, that is 60 megapascal, and that is going to be equal to 60 newton per millimeter square. Further, we can see that the shaft is not allowed to twist more than one degree. Therefore, the degree that can be turned should be maximum one degree, right? So we can see that our theta is one degree. Converting this to radian, that is pi on 180 multiplying one. And that is going to be 0 0.0175. The unit is right. All right. We have a length of three meters. So the length L is three meters, and that is going to be 3000 mm equal to 3 meters. We have G given. The G is also giving us 80 giga, 10 to the power 9 Pascal. In terms of mm, we are going to have as 80 kilo newton per millimeter square. So all parameters are given. We are to find the diameter of the shaft. With all this information, we are to find the diameter. All right, so here, what can we do? Since we have power, number of rotation, and we know that P is also giving us what? 2 pi nt onward. 60, we can calculate for the torque from this expression 1. Is that true? Yes. So let's find the torque from that expression. So if we make the torque the subject, then we are going to have T should be equal to our 60P on 2 pi N, meaning the torque is going to be 60 multiplying. What is the power? That is 97.5 kilo to the power 3 on 2 pi N. Number of rotation that is 180. 180, and this is giving us a torque 5172.54 Newton meter. Why Newton meter? Because I'm working in the standard units. Remember, the power is in its standard unit, which is watts, and the all the other units they are in their standard. Unit. So this torque we've gotten is now in the Newton meter form. We can convert it to the Newton millimeter form as if we want to convert it, that is going to be 5172.54 10 to the power 3 Newton millimeter. Is that okay? All right, that's fine. So here we have talk, we are interested in finding a certain diameter from 
the equation of torque where we have shear and the others. Can we derive this formula that shear is going to be a certain torque multiplying the radius on a certain j? Yes, we have this expression. But we also know that the j is equal to pi d4 on 32. So if we are bringing in this j, which has a diameter, and there's a radius of that same shaft also here. If we are going to convert this radius to a diameter and combine it with the expression of the J, then we are going to arrive at a very interesting formula where our torque is going to be our pi multiplying the shear multiplying dq on 16. This is the expression. Are we okay? If you want to get it from the shear, that is going to be shear is 16 the torque, everything on pi, the q. So you can make t the subject from this second expression and you're going to get the third expression. Are we okay? So from here, we are interested in finding the diameter of the shaft. So we can make the cube the subject from any of the expressions and that is going to still be the cube should be equal to 16 t, right? Yes, we have 16 t divided by the pi and the here this way. So we can put in the values so that our d cube is going to be 16 multiplying the torque. I'm going to work with the mm so that I can get the diameter in millimeters. You can work in meters and later convert your diameter to millimeters. So the t, we have it here in terms of mm, that is going to be 517, 2 point, we have 54 to the power 3, everything divided by pi, and the shear in terms of mm is 60. Are we okay? So with this, this is the Q, and the Q is going to give us an answer of 439058.8 mm Q. So you find the cubic root of both sides, and this is going to give us the diameter to be 76.00 millimeters. Are we okay? So meaning for the shaft to undergo all this, it has to be diameter 76 millimeters. So the first part, the suitable diameter of the shaft is 76 mm. Now, the shaft is not allowed to twist more than one degree of length, three meters, and that meters. From that part, we are also going to derive a diameter for that part. Please pay attention. From the first diameter is from, we saw that the combination was from the allowable stress of the material, 60, and we got this diameter. But let's look at the second statement. It says that this shaft that we are talking about is not allowed to twist more than one degree. You understand? Of this length. So we have to also make analysis and see a diameter which is not going to twist more than one degree and more than the length. So let's also use that parameter to derive a diameter an interesting one. So first we are going to look at this expression. Torque on the G is equal to, because it's here that we have the deflection formula or the relation of the deflection and the length. So with this we can also derive a diameter from here. So this, we saw that the torque, I'm still working in millimeters, should be 
5172.54 10 to the power 3 everything on the g and j is going to be pi on 32 multiplying d4 right should be equal to we have the g given 80 to the power 3 in terms of mm multiplying degree the bar is not allowed to rotate more than one degree and we saw that in radian that is going to be 0 0.01745 and the length was also three which is three thousand now from here we can simplify or decide and say that our and also perform some computation with this so this the 32 is going to be multiplying the numerator so that is 32 multiplying 5 1 this is mathematics you can solve it in any way it fits for you on pi multiplying d to the power 4 and this part is going to be 0 0.46533 okay so i will prefer to make the diameter the subject from here so i'm going to get D4 is going to give me, so I have my 32 multiplying 5172.54 10 to the power 3. Do you see that? Yes. We are going to divide both sides by 0 0.46533 multiplying a certain part. And D4 is going to give me 11322 What do I do? I have to find the fourth root of both sides. So the fourth root of both sides will give me a diameter D. Remember, this is to mm4. This is going to be 103.15 mm. So do you see that if we obey the instruction that the bar is not allowed to twist more than one degree and length three meters we are getting that the suitable diameter is also to be 103.15 mm do you understand so now since the question was like this is what the bar is not supposed to go beyond the first part was it is going to induce a shear of 60 and it's the question did not restrict us whether we can go beyond that or not right but for the degree of rotation and the length we are restricted that the bar should not go beyond so we are going to obey the one with what the restriction is that okay so in that case the suitable diameter diameter of the bar is going to be 103.15 mm are we okay so this is the diameter we are required to use 15 so diameter 2 the diameter 1 was 76 that was from the what the stress but if we are using the condition where we are not supposed to go beyond then we can further use this diameter i hope it's clear you can go back and check the video once again thank you for watching this episode please subscribe to the channel see you in the next episode